All right, today's lesson is going to be about copying a line segment. Now that might sound uh, easy because uh, we could just measure the line segment and then copy that down somewhere else. Uh, we're actually going to do it a little bit different today. So what we're going to use is a compass. This is a safety compass. Um, it's just the plastic. This little thing moves around. Uh, be careful with those though because those can pop out. Uh, so you will need a compass today. Uh, you'll also uh, need a pencil and make sure that's a sharp pencil. Uh, mechanical pencils like I'm using, the lead likes to break off so you'll eat through a lot of lead using a mechanical pencil. So make sure you have uh, a good good pencil and just know if you use mechanical they're nice if you're careful with them. Alright so the first thing we're going to talk about today is copying a line segment. I have a line segment here A B and I want to be able to copy that elsewhere. Let's put another point down here. I'm just going to call that point A prime. The way we're going to copy the line segment is actually by using a compass which is meant for drawing circles. I'm going to take the center of my compass and I'm going to place it on A. And I'm going to find that dot that's out here that actually goes over B. Again, if there's not an exact dot, use your closest one. It looks like this dot right here is going to be the one I want to use. You can see if I start drawing that circle, there, let's see the dot that is. That's one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. My sixth dot. Now, if we started drawing that circle, now that does hit the edge of my line. So we're going to use that same dot down here, but instead of putting the center on A, I'm going to put it on A prime. Count out those dots: one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to draw a little arc, just kind of like we did up here. And there's the arc to my circle. If I were to continue drawing that circle, I could draw one big long circle. But what I need to do is draw a line out from A prime out to the edge. And where they intersect, we're going to call that line, that, that point, uh, B prime. Uh, what we have now, and we're at, you need to write down this notation, we need to get used to it, is that the line segment AB is congruent to line segment A prime, B prime. That's how we draw or, or copy a line segment using just a compass. You'll notice I didn't use the ruler. Uh, that's We're not going to do that. We're not going to cheat. So when we do this, we want to make sure that we're showing our compass arcs right here. Okay, Don't try to fake those. Let's show you a different way of doing it. What if your circle is, what if the line you're making is a little bit too small for these dots out here on the compass, right? What we're going to do instead, we're still going to, come down here and I'm going to write this as C prime but um, I'm going to put my center of my compass there and instead of spinning the orange part I'm going to hold that down nice and good and spin the inside part to find one of these dots that work okay so I'm going to use this circle right here it's uh, one two my third dot and you'll see as I make that arc right there it makes it right there so it's pretty dang close so let's go move my center of my, cir my circle here to C prime. Use that same third dot and make that arc. Okay, and then we're going to draw that line from C prime out to the edge of that circle. Put a point where they intersect, and we're going to call this one D prime. Okay. And what we have here is that the line segment CD is congruent to the line segment C prime. D prime. And that's how we copy line segments. Alright, so now we should have our worksheet. Um, should be able to do problems one, two, three, and four. Uh, if you feel confident, go ahead and just copy all those line segments, making sure that we move A over to A prime, and then copy that line segment A B over to A prime B prime. Um, if you don't feel comfortable with that, I'm gonna do number one with us, uh, with you guys all together right now. Um, and we'll just get to it, and I'll go pretty quick, so pause the video if you need to. All right, so the instructions say to construct a line segment congruent to each given segment. Make sure to label all your points, and that's important. Make sure to label all your points. The line segment given in number one is the line segment AB, and I want to copy it over to A prime. So I'm going to take the center of my compass, and I'm going to place it on A, and then find the circle that works to go out to B. 
Again, pick your closest point. Make sure your center is good. Pick your closest point. Looks like my second dot on this side is going to work out great. So instead of removing my pencil from this point, I'm going to keep it in there so I don't have to count. I don't have to remember where my pencil needs to go in a second. And while I keep it there, I'm going to move this center from A over to A prime. Hold down nice and tight. Draw your arc. Okay. So the distance from A B, A from A to B is going to be the same as A prime to the edge of this circle now. Start at the center, draw a line where those two points meet or intersect. We're going to call that B prime. You can actually label it whatever you'd like as long as your notation is good. That notation would be that this segment here is congruent to this segment right here. That's AB. The line segment AB is congruent to the line segment A prime B prime. And that's how you're going to do problems numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 here.